When it comes to weight loss, fiber is probably one of the most important macronutrients that will help you achieve your weight loss goals. Now, fiber itself isn't a macronutrient, but it is a subset of carbohydrates. In today's video, I'm going to go over five powerful ways in how fiber can help boost your weight loss results. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dielle Joy and I made this transformation on my weight loss journey. And I've been at this journey for a while and just what I've noticed from my journey and other people's journeys is this, stuffing your face with vegetables eating a lot of fiber. Not a lot of people getting enough fiber while losing weight. You should be aiming between 30 grams to 50 grams of fiber per day to help you aid in your weight loss results. So throughout this video, I'm gonna list five powerful tools and I'm gonna give you a fiber food list at the end of the video. So make sure you watch until the end so you know what foods you should be incorporating on the daily. All right, number one, fiber helps to keep you full longer. Why is that? Because most foods that are high in fiber are also low calorie dense foods. There are voluminous foods. So when you eat fiber or foods that are high in fiber, they are high in volume. However, they'll keep you full with as little calories as possible. Fiber keeps you full because again, it takes its time to help your food digest and the beautiful thing about fiber is that you are feeding your gut microbiome, which leads me to my second point. Number two, fiber helps to feed and support a healthy gut microbiome. As I've stated in my videos, the gut microbiome plays a significant role in human health. And it would make sense considering the human body has more microbial cells than it does human cells. So obviously there's an important synergistic relationship between humans and our gut microbiome. The gut microbiome has been known to help produce vitamins such as vitamin K, vitamin B12, butyric, which is a short chain fatty acid that helps support our bodies and help to feed our gut microbiome. And when we feed our gut microbiome, guess what's happening? We are not feeding our human cells. So that's another reason why it helps us keep fuller longer. And we're learning so much more about the gut microbiome in that it helps regulate things like glucose levels, which is one of my points. It helps to regulate blood cholesterol levels. The gut microbiome is important in balancing our mental health, the gut brain barrier helps with serotonin production because serotonin is actually produced in the gut. So there is an overall benefit to our overall health when we feed our gut microbiome. Number three, our gut microbiome helps to support our glucose levels and our cholesterol levels. So when we eat more fiber, again, we are supporting our gut microbiome. Foods that are high in fiber helps to support our system overall. And studies have shown that weight loss is promoted more in people who eat more fiber on a consistent basis. Remember, this isn't a one-off thing. You need to do it consistently. There's that word, consistency. And I'll do a video talking about how to stay consistent with your nutrition and how to stay consistent with eating fiber and exercising and the whole lot. Or if you want me to do that video, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely get to that. Number four, how eating high fiber foods helps us with weight loss. Well, foods that are high in fiber are foods that are quote unquote more healthier foods. Foods that are high in fiber, fiber include things like fruits, vegetables, and legumes. Again, hang tight until the end of the video and I'll give you a full high fiber food list. So foods that are healthier tend to be foods that are whole foods. So when we are looking at foods that are high in fiber, we're reaching out for more whole foods and we are not grabbing foods that have empty calories, those foods that are less nutritious. Fibrous foods tend to be foods full of nutrition. And as you are losing weight and you are consuming foods that are high in nutrition, it's going to help your body do what it needs to do to shrink those fat cells, to build that muscle, and to help protect your overall health. So when you focus on eating fibrous foods, you're focusing on avoiding processed junk foods. 
Hashtag stop your face with vegetables. And number five, fiber helps to keep you regular, which is so important. Do you know that we have an epidemic of constipation going on? So we gotta make sure you are regular because we need that process for our body. It's how our body excretes toxins. You're gonna have a lot of problems losing weight if you are not excreting toxins from your body properly through regular BMs, aka bowel movements. So fiber helps our movements in two ways. Number one, it helps to add more volume to our stool. And number two, it helps to have our stool go through our digestive system with ease by increasing the water content in it. Now there's two forms of fiber. There's insoluble fiber and soluble fiber. Both forms of fiber are super important for our overall health. Soluble fiber turns into a gel when we are digesting it. And that gel is like a transport chain that helps to feed our gut microbiome. Insoluble fiber helps to speed the passage of foods through our stomach and through our colon, which again helps with our BMs. Now, I'm gonna get into my high fiber food list for now, but first I wanna mention that the sources of foods that have the highest amount of fiber are legumes. So legumes is a type of food group that contains dry peas and beans. Now to our high fiber food list. Let's list some high fiber legumes. So things like lentils, chickpeas, black beans, and kidney beans. These legumes have the highest amount of fiber. If you wanna get around to getting lots of fiber into your diet, you should go through your health food aisle. I actually have a package at home here in my cupboard and get foods or pastas that are made with chickpeas, pastas that are made with legumes. If you look at the packages, these pastas contain an infinite amount of fiber. I believe one of my pasta boxes has 18 grams of fiber in it, 18. That is getting more than almost two thirds of the amount of fiber you need daily because you should be aiming for a mi minimum of 30 to 50 grams. Now, more fiber doesn't benefit you. That's why I say 30 to 50 grams. You don't need to go above 50 grams because if you have too much fiber, you might put yourself in a situation where you're having bloating and gas. Now, that's not the case for everyone, but if you are slowly introducing fiber with your diet, start off with 30 grams and go from there. Next, seeds and nuts. So things like chia seeds, flax seeds, almonds are very high in fiber. Highest fiber vegetables include broccoli and Brussels sprouts. I need to get my hands on some Brussels sprouts because I've been craving it for weeks. Also carrots and celery are also high in fiber. Now high fiber fruits include raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. Other fruits that are high in fiber, pears are actually really high in fiber. Apples, oranges, kiwis, and figs. Now, here are some honorable mentions. Edamame, what do you, I guess edamame is considered a bean, a legume? Is it considered a legume? I think you would put it in that category. So edamame is really high in fiber. And oh my God, I forgot to mention the holy grail, avocados. Avocados should be eaten frequently, especially if you're doing the keto diet, but even, even if you're not doing the keto diet, avocados are incredibly high in fiber. And again, avocado is a fruit. It is a fruit. <laughs> avocado is such a tricky one. Um, some honorable mentions are things like new pasta and angel hair pasta. Um, these are pastas I tend to eat when I'm doing the keto diet, but you don't have to eat it with keto. These pastas are laced with fiber. They're very low calorie pastas that are high in fiber. And I did mention earlier on in the videos, foods that are low calorie tend to be foods that are high in fiber. So that's another reason to include fibrous foods on your weight loss journey. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, make sure you hit that like button. And if you made it to this point in the video, just drop in a broccoli because broccoli i believe is one of the highest fiber vegetables <laughs> i was gonna say fruit and i'm sending you guys mad love and make sure to stuff your face with vegetables and let's rock this weight loss journey take care bye